Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new stuff chart for Minecraft 19w04a and we will also be taking a look at 19w04b and they're, they're not that big so yeah I'm taking both of them at the same time let's get started Also, I kind of forgot to say welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the newest snapshot for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. But now, let's get started. Let's get right into it. So, there are a lot of updates and changes, or not a lot, but um, we're going to take a look at them. They're not that big, so let's just start right away with the campfire. And they now spawn in Tiger Villages. So let us use a time machine or teleportation device and three, two, one. And here we are. Magic, right? Anyways. Oh, wait, we used the teleportation device. Anyways, we're here in the tiger biome, and would you look at this? You can find campfires now in tiger villages just laying around just like that over here. Oh, that actually looks really good as well. So what they have done is basically place a hay bale so that you get these higher smoke signals, which in the end allows you to see the village from much further away than you normally would be able to if you have a high render distance that is or even if you just can't see it through the trees and you uh man normally okay i don't want to search anymore i've gone uh, five thousand blocks away from home i'm gonna go back but now oh wait there's smoke then you know there's a village or something like that or if it's multiplayer then uh probably another player but who knows in this case if you're in the tiger it's a village so that is really cool you can find those laying around on the ground and they are also used in the building chimneys but I don't have one here unfortunately but that is pretty cool as well oh there's a cat uh, but yes that is pretty much that now the composter they also spawn at these farms here and I've not seen this farm before hmm but anyways the composter which we covered in the last whoops in the last snapshot can be found at their farms so over here we got one right there and over here we got one there and I believe there might be another farm around? No. But as you can see they spawn near them or inside them depending. So yeah that is pretty cool right there. Now there's also something with the scaffolding which I haven't understood yet myself so give me a second here. Alright, I'm not entirely sure if I get it or not, but I'm going to read what they have written on the wiki and then we're going to take a look at something that I think might be that, but I'm not sure. We're going to take a look right now. They say, more intuitive place placement. Placing a floating scaffolding requires the player sneaking to place the scaffolding or scaffolding is placed on the top instead. Now they do write there that more information is needed, so it is not explained fully yet. But what I think first thought was that you could place this on the side of blocks and then you would need to shift click, but you can't. Now, one thing that I did see was that if I place, whoops, if I place it and want to place one on top, I can't. It goes to the side. If I go over here, it goes like that, to the sides. Now, if I, what happens if I do it from down here? Then it does it on the top. So what my guess might be is that you need to hold down shift to place it exactly where you want it to be placed without it have having to be directional. Now one thing that is cool, which I, I don't think I know I knew, but it is a while back since I covered these scaffold things. But you can do this. Boom. Now that is a lot of scaffoldings. And it keeps going. <laughs> I don't know if there's a limit. But that's pretty cool. But that is that's I don't think that's part of this update. So let's just boop. Remove that. Now if that's not satisfying, I don't know what is in Minecraft. <laughs> but yes, I think that is what you can do with it. You can hold down shift to place it specifically wherever you want. I'm guessing that is what what it's talking about. Um so yeah. That is covered as well with the scaffoldings. Now, we are coming to the next subject, which for me is the most exciting in this update. Let's go.
And the reason why I'm so excited is because the stone cutter now finally has a use. So, how do we make it? Let's make it first before we use it. We need a crafty table. We do need a crafty table, so we need some stone. We actually need three of those. And then we need one iron ingot, just like that. And we place the crafty table down. Boop, just like that, and boom. There you go. Stone cutter. Easy, right? Okay, so the functionality of this thing is a easy way to make slabs and stairs out of, or any other block out of, different stone blocks. So if we take stone, for example, okay, if you, as you can see, if you right click, you get this UI. If you put that in there, you can see the different things you can make with it. I can make chiseled stone, I can make stone brick, I can make stone stairs, wall. Let's say I wanted some chisel. There we go. And listen to that sound. That's really cool. Now also, let's say I have some slabs I want, just like that, or some stairs maybe. Cool. Stone brick wall. Now this is really cool because you can still use a normal crafting table, which I just threw away. Genius. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you just do it like this, oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> You can still make it the old way, but the cool thing with this one is you can make one at a time. Like that. But in here, you have to get four, so you will sometimes end up with three that you don't really want to throw, throw away, but you don't need them. So you're ba basically gonna end, end up with a bunch of trash, like if I were to make the stone brick wall, for example, I would get six, but I only need five, for example, and then I have one in reserve. Now, I don't think you could put this in here and get anything back, unfortunately. It would have been cool, but you can't. You can only do it with the actual source block, so... Oh, but you can't. See, this is a source block, because you can make something with that block. So if, this, if there's something you can make with the block, I'm assuming you can do it like that. Now, uh, let's take diorite, for example. Let's put that in there. As you can see, boom. Now. I don't think you can do it with anything other than stone. Just, just testing, because why not? Yeah. There's a quick list of the VK. I'm going to quickly read it out to you. And uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to mention the update from the 19W04B because it's um, regarding the stone cutter. Give me a second. All right. So it says here on the wiki, um, from cobblestone, all types of stone and polished stone, st sandstone, Brick and nether bricks, quartz, all types of prismarine, end stone and end stone bricks and mossy variants as well. So if I have some mossy cobblestone, for example, boom, I can smack that in there and I get these abilities right here. Now, I'm guessing that you can hold down shift and click and it will craft it all in one big swoop, just like that. That is really awesome right there. I will leave a link down in the below into the microfiki, uh, leaving the... Um, a link to the table which has the information of what I just said, but uh, no, not what I just read, said, blah, blah, blah. a table of all the stone variants that you can use this thing with. Now I would, I would just read the list out, but it's very long and I want to keep this video short. Now the 19W04B pretty much only adds some additional recipes for the stone cutter. Um, it says, added additional recipes, andesite, diorite, and granite to polished variant slabs and stairs, and smooth stone into smooth stone slabs, which is actually correct. So if we take this, for example, and boom, boom, pretty cool. What is, this is, by the way, one of my favorite blocks in Minecraft, not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. Um, and then we have three issues fixed to that, but we'll, we'll get to that in a moment. Now with the stone cutter covered, um, we got a few quick things I want to mention. Um, world generation, uh, zombie villagers add updated desert and tiger zombie villagers. So they updated the zombie villagers. Now if you don't know, I believe a zombie village is a... I think a zombie village has a 2% chance of spawning at a village, which is basically um, a village which is pretty much dead. No villagers, and I believe the villagers are replaced with zombie villagers. I know there will be zombie villagers in there, but I don't know if, like, if there, are, there would normally be 10 villagers, and then there would there will be exactly 10 
uh, some people just, but that's pretty cool they have done that. I'm guessing they're gonna do it to the other ones because right now they have updated the Desert and Tiger, so I'm hoping they're gonna update the other ones as well. But yeah, that is obviously needed. Um, also, I don't think you will find any torches in s in zombie villages, um, nor will you, or not nor, um, I think you might also be able to find some cobwebs in them. I have personally, I don't think, ever seen one, so that would be pretty cool, but it is a 2% chance, so there you've got that. And then the last two things in world generation, um, I believe that is when you create a new world or start a new world or create a string. Um, new progress message, upgrading structure data. So let's create a new world re real quick and see if that is the case. All right, so we got a test world here, ready to go. And it should say something at some point, maybe. I don't know if this is it. It was just a guess. Upgrading structure, nope. Nope, didn't show it. Well, maybe it's it does it doesn't say that it's server side, so I don't know what it what it is. Maybe you have to go out and back in again. No, doesn't seem like it. So apparently it is not that. It must be something else. But anyways, that's that. And the last one is improved collision code. I don't know what that is, I guess, collision is when you walk towards, say, a mob, like this. I'm guessing that's what they're talking about, so I guess they improved that. So that is always good. Um, they don't give much information about that one. But then we have issues fixed remaining. So in 19W04, 19W04A, that is. Then we have a lot, ooh, a lot from the development versions. Uh, one second. From the 1.14 development versions, we have 15 issues fixed. And from the previous development version, we have three issues fixed. And from the 19W04B, we have three issues fixed from that as well. And that's pretty much it for this video. That is, that was kind of quick actually. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends, and if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and enable that notification bell thingamabob. And uh, yeah, be sure to join my Discord server as well, link down below, and if you've got any suggestions or anything like that to the snapshots videos, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.